guys. Welcome to another uh, episode of Dehydrating with Camo. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to do another simple dehydrating trip, and that's dehydrating celery. Our strainer here. Yeah, it's already got some chicken in it. Right here. Here. So, in there. so I'm I got. Uh, <laughs> Very, very efficient thing to do. As we all know, celery does not last very long in the refrigerator. It starts to get rubbery. If this is something that you want to save, it is great to dehydrate this. Cut it up, dehydrate it, and place it in soups and all kinds of other goodies, places that you can actually do it. Today, I actually purchased four stalks of, of celery, and I'm not sure if that's the correct technical term, if one of these is called a stalk, but I bought four of them. First time I did, I bought two stalks of celery, and I dehydrated two stalks of celery, and this is what it dehydrated down to. Not very much, guys. Two of these dehydrated down to less than that. So I figured that I would go ahead and get uh, four stalks of celery this time, and that way I could probably fill up that jar and have plenty of celery for, uh, for storage. So what I'm going to do is take this out of its plastic bag and I'm going to trim it up, wash it off, and prep it for cutting and then placing it into the dehydrator. So let's move on to the next step, guys. Alright guys, so I have separated my celery here and I am now going to go ahead and basically clean it up, take the leaves off of it, and prep it for chopping. So let's take care of that and I'll be right back with you. All right, guys, so I got a stalk here that's pretty much all cleaned up. Got all the leavage off of it. I'm just going to chop it in, I would say, less than quarter inch pieces. You don't want anything bigger than a quarter of an inch. That may actually be too big. It all depends on your dehydrator. Um, remember that the, the biggest stuff that you, the bigger the stuff you put in there, the longer it takes to dehydrate it. Um, because it has to pull all the water out of that particular object. So, And yes, I know that if I had a slicer, this would probably be a whole lot faster. Um, but I don't have a slicer. I have a bunch of very trusty sharp knives. And, well, I'm not fancy in the kitchen, guys. This is, this is about as fancy as you're going to see me in the kitchen, especially on YouTube. So what I'm going to do basically here, I'm not going to bore you with uh, with me chopping up all this celery, is I'm basically going to go through and chop up as much celery as possible. And uh, then I'm going to place it in the dehydrator. And then we'll come back when I have everything all chopped up like so. All right, guys. See you in a bit. All right, guys. So I got the celery all chopped up in the slices and placed into the trays. As you can see, whoopsie. So the only thing left now, thing left now, is to actually put the top on this bad boy and uh, flip on the switch. And that is what we'll do, guys. And I'm not sure of the time frame or the temperature for celery. I'm going to do a little research and put that across the screen right about now. So if you guys are ones that have uh, dehydrators that have thermostats, this is the hours and the um, basically the, the degrees you want to be at uh, for your celery. Like I said before, you want to make sure that your celery looks just like this, very crisp, pretty much shrunk down to almost nothing. Um, and that's how you know it's getting done. So we'll just flip the switch on this bad boy. And we will see y'all guys in a bit. Alright guys, so she is all done dehydrating. And we are going to take a look at her. As you can see, they are a lot tinier. Zoom into it there than they were when they first went in there, so they're all shrunk up. And each tray looks exactly the same. 
So we're going to transfer these to our uh, jar and uh, probably get pretty close to filling it up. And I'm going to do another layer. I think I have another uh, two stalks to put on this guy. And um, <clears> then <throat> I'll uh, move on to the next thing to dehydrate. So thank you guys very much for coming along. And uh, much appreciate the, uh, the watch. Appreciate the uh, like, the share. And uh, just appreciate you guys coming along for the, uh, for the ride, guys. Thanks again for uh, joining me with Dehydrating with Camo. We'll see y'all guys on the next time. Just remember, when you see me in the kitchen, don't yell, don't bail. It's just your boy, <sighs> Camo Man. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll get out with y'all later. Deuce. It's your boy.